What is going on guys, gals, gamers like Crimson here, and welcome to Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster Coliseum. Now, this is going to be shocking for a lot of people. And I get it. I get it. I understand why it's going to be shocking. Because, what the f- what? Hmm. I guess I can't turn down the music. Okay. So, I'm gonna- I'm gonna start up campaign mode. And then we'll get into the- the bread and butter of why I decided to do this. Welcome. To Capsule Monster Coliseum. You're just in time for the big tournament. Capsule Monster Battle Tournament. Yugimoto and his alter ego, who had been trapped in the Millennium Puzzle. Will use their wits and monster capabilities to defeat all of their opponents. As they fight for the title bestowed on only the best Capsule Monster Coliseum Fighter. King of Capsule Monsters. Okay. Whew. You you guys, I don't think you guys understand how much I fucking love this game. So Once, once, once we get here into, okay, so, couple things. First of all, I am playing this via a PlayStation emulator, a PS2 emulator. Um, I do own a PS2, and I do own the game. However, I'm not driving to my parents' place and digging it out. To uh, to play this, to 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 do this. Now, some people may be wondering, why are you doing this? First of all, it's an older game. Why are you doing an older game? You haven't done an older game since I think Resident Evil Two. And what happened to Samurai Jack? Well, Samurai Jack, I kind of chose just because I needed a game, and I really wasn't interested in doing anything at the moment. So I was like, fuck it, we'll do Samurai Jack. Um, I still haven't touched it. We may go back to it eventually. But I really wanted to play some of the older Yu-Gi-Oh games. Um, and Capsule Monster Coliseum is my favorite. And we're going to build a custom symbol. Actually, no. No. No, 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 I changed my mind. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're just going to purchase a starter kit. But, um... Oh. <laughs> Grandpa's laughing at me because I'm so fucking dumb. Um... Oh, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought on what I wanted to talk about. Right, Samurai Jack. Samurai Jack is still a playthrough that I do plan on finishing... Um, it's just, like I said, I chose Samurai Jack because nothing was coming out. I didn't really want to do anything at the time, but I, I wanted something. So that's why I, ch I chose Samurai Jack. Now, the reason why I'm doing this instead at the moment is because... I've been watching somebody do a playthrough of 
Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories Remastered Mod. And basically what it, what that mod is, it's just different difficulty curve, new cards, Grandpa. better fusions, yada yada yada. It's, it's just better. It's just overall better. Um, and I went and downloaded PS1 and PS2 emulators and I got Capsule Monsters, I got the Duels of the Roses, and I got the, the mod for Forbidden Memories Remastered. Um, I was going to do Forbidden Memories Remastered first, but then I was like, I really want to play Capsule Monsters. Um, I did play the entire first area on a separate file that... Um, I played I played the entire first area to make sure the emulator was good, nothing was wrong, nothing was going, uh, no, like, nothing was broken. Me. Make sure everything was fine. What are you doing? And, uh... Yeah, I played for like two and a half hours, and it was tons of fun, and I was like, oh my god, I missed this game. I knew you wouldn't have prepared anything. You're always so impatient. Oh, Grandpa, you kidster. But it doesn't explain why I'm doing an older game. Because I want to, okay? <laughs> because I want to. There's nothing new that is coming out or has come out that I want to do a playthrough of. The next game that I plan on doing a playthrough of is Resident Evil 8, and that's not until May. There may be another game or two that like slips by and just releases, but I brought monsters that you can use in the tournament. Who knows? Who knows? That's my grandpa. Hold your horses. I never said I was giving you these for free. Oh, Grandpa, you little bitch who let you out of the basement. Exchange them for monster points. You're high. Monster points? So, but the other reason I played this for you can a little while earlier was to make sure Keep that I remembered more more. how to play the game. So I'm going to have two save files uh, that you're going to see when I save. Um... The first save file is the, the Let's Play, and the second save file is my personal save file that I'm using to play this game. So. In other words, each monster has a different attribute. And each attribute has a different advantage and disadvantage. So, this game kind of works a little bit like Pokemon. Or, if you've played Yu-Gi-Oh! The Sacred Cards, it's kind of like that. Like, if... If Kaiba played Obelisk the Tormentor, you can play a Skellingel, which is only 900 attack points, and beat it. Because its type was better than Divine Beast. It's so dumb. It, I'll explain what if you haven't fun. played this game... Think about it think more in the way them, of Pokemon. You take notes. They're going... They're, you they'll, they'll explain what yeah, I mean. But, um... It's more of, like, Pokemon style with Yu-Gi-Oh. Light is strong against dark, and dark is strong against earth. And, like... Fire oh, is strong man, against it's just... And Oops, I skipped it. And water is strong against fire. Earth is strong against thunder, and wood is strong against wind. Wind is strong against water, and thunder is strong against light. So, story time That's it. about this if game. Also, look at that. You're going to tell me a little kid for victory. is going to memorize that? No. No. That's why I just think of it like Pokemon. The only ones that are really hard to under like to remember is Dark is strong against Earth and Wood against Wind. Like those are the only ones that I'm kind of like, huh? Cuz water against fire, fire against wood, that makes sense. Light is stronger than dark, you know? Thunder is strong against light. Like, that that kind of makes sense. So only having monsters of a single attribute is dangerous. So I, I wanted to double check before I started this. When did this That's game actually come grandson. out? You learn quickly. 
However, you should always take your Absolute opponent's attribute into account. Coliseum release date. That's another important point to remember. No, not for the Game Boy, for PS2. <laughs> not, not for the Game Boy Color. We're, we're, we're talking about PS2. <laughs> No, no, not the for the Game you. Boy Color. For PS2. <laughs> no. No. Here we go, PS2. Was released in, on the blah, 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 blah. November 26th, 2004 for the PlayStation 2. Now. What should we do? My main playthrough is, like, my, my personal playthrough is fire, so I really don't want to do fire. Um, let's do thunder. Kabang! Experience ultra attack ability. The catch? This team doesn't have an ounce of defense. Actually, I don't want to do that, then. What about dark? An elite small team packs a punch with a skilled controller. Light is excellent support. This team's attacks are not strong, but if you build them up, their special abilities become powerful. Like a fortified castle for those who like to plan their attacks nice and slow. Actually, we'll do we'll do water. But story time. Picture it you will. It's I think I'm pretty sure it was February 2005. All right, because I, I know I got it for my birthday. I had just turned the ripe old age of 10 years old. Ooh, Psychic Kappa, Root Water, White Dolphin, Petite Moth, Man Eater, Larvis, Sonic Maid, and Man Eater. Ooh. Rootwater is probably my best monster. Oh no, Larvis. Larvis and Sonic Man. Uh, they're okay. They're okay. But um Picture it, 2005. Um, my grandmother took me to Walmart and she was like, for your birthday, we're gonna get like we'll get you a game. And about a week prior my I was at a friend's house and when I was at his house he was playing a Yu-Gi-Oh game now he was playing the false bound kingdom but little 10 year old me like didn't really grasp console exclusives like that at the time because I was like oh I know Jack and Daxter and then Ratchet hey, and Clank you, are PlayStation you. and um Mario is Nintendo, over. you know, stuff like that. And, like, and Halo is Xbox. Like, you stuff like that friend. was only on the one console. But I was back. like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is on, like, stuck, every Jordan. console at the time. I have some for my Game Boy. I have some for the PlayStation 1. Like, my friend has them for GameCube. You know, it's like... It didn't occur to me that... Every Yu-Gi-Oh game was basically an exclusive at that time. I'm gonna go first. Lucky. So. I don't know. But anyway, we went and she was like, you can, you can pick out a game. And I didn't have... Okay. I'll select my monsters to play with. A GameCube. So I was like, I'm Wait just looking at the PlayStation PS2 section. What's wrong, Yugi? What's wrong, Yugi? That's younger me. There's a limit on older which me. Monsters you can use. Younger. Which is determined by monster points. You mean the points I paid? So in order to get monsters. Yeah. Each stage has a set limit. I'm looking at the games points. and I was like I already had Duelist of the Roses at this point, so I knew it wasn't that game. So I saw this on the shelf, and I was like, that's the game I want. I know it's a Yu-Gi-Oh game. I'm assuming it's this. 
Um, so the person got, so they, you know, they got out of the case and my grandmother bought it, you know, I'm, I'm reading the back as I go, as we head home or reading the manual, looking at the cards that I got, because when you bought a Yu-Gi-Oh game back in the day, you got three trading cards. I think, I think Capsule Monsters came with the Magnet Warriors, Alpha, Beta, and Gamma. I think, I think that's, I think that's the ones that, uh, that came with this game. Okay. Thanks, Yugi. So, all right, what are we gonna? Who are we gonna use? We're definitely gonna use a Psychic Kappa. I really don't want to use Petite Moth because Joey uses all fire. We'll go White Dolphin. Throw in a Root Water. Throw in a Larvis. Didn't I have somebody else? Oh no, Larvis is there. Never mind. Well, I guess we're just going to throw in another Root Water. Oh, I only have five. Oh, hold on, hold on. We'll throw in a Psychic Kappa. And yeah, we'll throw in a Petite Moth. Make sure we get the six monsters. So, we'll put this here. And just for time's sake, for the rest of this video, we're going to random placement... Yeah, that's fine. That's, that's fine. So I got home, turned the game on, started playing, and it took me two duels to realize it is not the game that I thought it was. Um, cause Falsebound Kingdom is super different compared to this game. I see. Each piece has a set requirement. And... It, it didn't take it, me long for this to become decreases, correct? a uh, a yeah. game that I preferred AP, over Falsebound. Then you can't move I still haven't anymore. sat down and fully played Falsebound so Kingdom. I need to. Maybe I'll do a blind playthrough of that eventually. When thinking about how but to move my pieces. this uh -huh. is just but first, one of, if not my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh games. If you don't summon monsters from your capsules... So you have to choose which monsters to summon. So, the first fight against Joey is all right. tutorial. Okay. I, I I remembered how to play, for the most part. Um, let's summon you, and I think I can get two psychic kappas. No, they're forty-eight. Ugh, I have I chose a lot of high-level monsters, quote unquote high-level monsters. You're gonna see what Joey Wheel is all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it on with your four Fire Reapers. Also, I apologize if you can hear it. Um, we recently took on here I go a second an an extra hey, roommate. Right now you saw the AP increase, right? One one of one of my roommate's what? friends got yes, uh, was getting kicked correct. out of his house and he didn't have a place to stay. And we were like, you can come stay with us. Where like we have a little AP bit of extra room, screen. you just have to help pay for shit. And he was like, yeah, sure, no problem. There's a number so we have another we have another person living with us temporarily. Yes. Um. This so the recording window is even smaller than it was turn. before. Yeah. And, and it's a monster, little annoying, but I mean. That means I would rather have something like that I move a, a little annoying over or I summon so that I can move them just like pieces. getting kicked out onto the street. But That's anyway, in, in, in any case, it's important to make a decision based on the situation. We're playing Capsule Monsters. Yugi, shut the ever-loving hell up. I, I, I guess the my favorite part of this game, or one of my favorite parts of this game, is the monster battle it's animations. That terrain is favorable for your piece's attribute. If the terrain is favorable, then the ability increases. But if it's unfavorable, then the ability decreases, right? Yes, you. Yes, yeah. yes. You can check yes, by attempt. At your ability. Very basic. I see. Very then, basic. I should be on Pokemon. The same terrain. 
Also, I'm, I'm calling him a Tem. As much as possible. I don't think there's people it who really know but it's worth who Yami Yugi is. Because I, this, this game came out during the Battle City arc, I think, when it was on. It was, it was either right after Battle City or midway during, like, the Dragons with, like, Tobias, Tobias, and, um, and those guys. Alright, so all my monsters are summoned, and we are good to go. Also, I'm trying a little bit different to... I'm trying a little bit different. I'm trying a different way of recording today. Because this isn't normally what I record with. Uh, I'm recording straight off of OBS. Usually I use the Elgato software. But because I'm recording my computer, I'm using OBS to record my screen directly, so we'll see how this goes. I'm hoping it goes well. We'll see. This duel is probably going to bleed over into the next uh, episode, though. Usually I'm going to try to keep the duels... What? You can't be serious! This can't happen! I'm, I'm going to try my best to keep the duels per episode. Like, I don't want to split up the duel into extra parts. Um, but just because there's, like, a whole lot of opening tutorial stuff and... You know. I want to, uh... To, uh, to make sure... I don't go over time, but if you played Duelist of the Roses, this game is kind of like Duelist of the Roses in the sense that it's like a chess game. So, as you can see, each duelist has two has their pieces that they control, and the goal is for you to obviously defeat all of your opponents pieces. Uh, no, I actually want to attack. How much damage would that do? That would almost kill it. If I move this here, actually, this would probably be a better spot. That would actually be a better spot because then his other monsters can't attack me. And this is, this is what I'm saying, like, my favorite part of this game is probably the battle animations. Because each monster has its own animation, they have their, you know, their own attacks, and it's super cool. Huh? What are you doing? I'm attacking. And of course, monsters gain experience. Gain they gain experience in this game. Is that enough to kill it? It is enough to kill it. Petite moth, yes. But when monsters level up, they can fuse with other monsters so like for example if you get a Gaia the Fierce Knight and a Cursed Dragon to specific levels you can fuse them to create Gaia the Dragon Champion. Petite Moth if you get it to a certain level it can evolve into Larva Moth which then can evolve again into Great Moth you. and then it can evolve again into perfectly ultimate Great Moth. So it's also a really cool and fun strategy game in the sense where you need to think about what monsters you're using, like which ones do you want, like which monsters work well in the situ in the duel that you're playing, but also which monsters are you close yep, to leveling up? Or are you close to, you know, evolving them? But that doesn't mean I'm gonna surrender. So, the first area is really easy because, you know, it's the tutorial stuff. But it gets it gets you a lot harder. Slick. That's my motto. Maybe not so much harder, but and it gets a lot more strategy involved. It's it's a very strategic Yu-Gi-Oh game. It's like, okay, 
I can move my monster here and attack him. It won't kill him, no matter which way I kill him. Like, no matter which way I attack, I can't kill him. But if I move him here, if I move him to the right as opposed to the left, I'll only get hit by one monster as opposed to two or three. Losing my monster. You know what I mean? So, that's why I really like it in that sense. It's a... It's, it's just a really cool game. And so many maps have, like, these changes that affect it. Like, for, for a 2004 PS2 game, it really was... I guess the best word would be revolutionary. Like, they don't make Yu-Gi-Oh! games like this anymore. Like, anytime they release a new Yu-Gi-Oh! game, it's just the card game. I'll finish this duel quickly. And it's like, the card game isn't bad. But, like... It's not bad. The card game isn't bad. But I want to, like, you know, I want to play Yu-Gi-Oh! games like this as well. Because Yu-Gi-Oh! literally means king of games, you know? Yeah, the card game is the main thing, but, like, you, you want to do some other stuff, too. Man, you're not going to let up. Not even a little bit, are you? Fuck no, Joey. My petite moth is going to destroy another one of your reapers. Because you suck. Yeah. Get dealt with. But yeah. G give, you, give you a little bit of history with, uh... My history with this game. Uh... Okay. It's the bottom of the ninth. Two, Two outs. I gotta make my move now or it's over. Yeah, and uh Joey, I I hate to uh Oh, I thought he was like I thought he was up one more space. I am most likely going to lose my petite moth most likely going to lose Petit Moth. But anyway, guys, I am going to end this video here. Um, like I said, in the coming videos, I don't plan on having, like, ending the duels, like, ending the video mid-duel. I'm going to try my best to end the duel before the, um, before the video ends. So there's 25 duels in the game, max of 25 parts maybe um depending like how many duels i can get done per per part um but since this first part was a lot of tutorial stuff took a little bit extra um next do next video we're gonna finish the duel and we're going to do the next one and uh we'll talk more about the game or i'll probably talk more about it i don't know and i why i think it's cool <laughs> i don't know I'm, I'm, I'm just a sucker for the older, older Yu-Gi-Oh games, but anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're excited to see this, because this game has some really cool secrets and some really, really, really cool, like, animations with some of the later monsters, so I really hope you're excited to, like, watch this with and, like, come with me on this journey. It, it's, it's a huge nostalgia trip for me, this one, so... Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video.